This is my sacrificial antweight robot, Isaac. I built him to show off the fact that antweights don't have to be complex or expensive. He cost me about 20 quid. Let's see how he works. Here we have Isaac broken down. As you can see, it's very simple. It consists of chassis, wheels and motors, battery, receiver, and sled. The chassis is all 3D printed and it consists of three parts. The main body has channels for motors, battery, and the receiver screws in on top of it. The motors are N20s and the wheels are 3D printed 80mm diameter, as you can see already with some battle damage. The battery I'm using is a 6 volt NICAD. I bought this quite a while back and it's very heavy, especially in comparison to the LiPos that most people use nowadays. The receiver, as you can see, is very cheap and nasty. It has digital control for each wheel, which means it goes either forwards or backwards with nothing in between. The sled is just a one and a half millimeter length of uh, HDPE that I've bent down into something that can remotely stabilize the robot. So here's the test drive without the sled. As you can see, almost uncontrollable. And now Isaac with the sled. Still hard to control, however, controllable nonetheless. There you have it. Just goes to show that you don't need money or brains to build an Antweight robot. Robots like Isaac are really good for getting into the sport of robot combat. If it gets trashed, so what? It costs 20 quid and it's a good, good fun introduction to it. However, if you are going to take robot combat a bit more seriously, I would, re I would recommend building another ant weight. This is my other one. Wait for it. He, re he recently won second place in the competition. If you want to see Isaac in robot combat action, head over to the Sheffield Roboteers YouTube channel for our most recent tournament and some other fun little games that we did. All right, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the arena.